Hey everyone, welcome into Dom Time. My name is Dom Giordano. In a moment, we're going to speak with someone else who deals with this issue of same sex marriage, gay marriage, particularly in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania area every day. I asked some of my radio listeners when we had talked about this immediately after the election to send me an email to give me to encapsulate what they thought about it. And we are taking your calls. You'll see the number up on the screen. Here's one. Here's uh, Stephen who wrote, people keep telling me about how intolerant the religious right is. But my experience has been those who support gay marriage are incredibly intolerant of the religious right. I've been kicked off message boards or forum, forums simply for opposing gay marriage. Look at Dan Savage speaking at a conference that was supposed to be about bullying, where he felt it was okay to bully Christians. And he goes on and on in that manner. Now, there are people on both sides on this that are at the fringes and will settle for nothing less than completely having gays devoid of any rights or gay marriage. And I think those are the two extremes many times, at least those that call people bigots or call people names from the right. Joining us is Paul Uguerre. Paul is with the Family, uh, the Human Research Council. Paul joins us here on Dom Time. Hey, Paul, welcome in. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, thank you. It's, uh, by the way, the Human Rights Campaign. Human Rights Campaign. Paul, thank you very much. Paul, the politics of this in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, we've talked a lot about New Jersey where this is closer to coming to a head. How about places like Pennsylvania? How about the states like that? Do you see any uh, opening in Pennsylvania where the dialogue is, is like it is here in New Jersey around this? Well, I think that after after you know this month's election, we have a whole new narrative everywhere. And while it's going to take some time to get there, and it's going to take a little bit longer in Pennsylvania, I think we're on our way, and I think we're on our way in a lot of places. I mean, Americans have spoken, and uh, you know we see we're on an irreversible path. So now it's a matter of time. Well, wait a minute. Let me ask you. When you say Americans have spoken, when I see Proposition Eight, that's pretty recent in California, and I saw. Black and Latino voters, it's guesstimating the 60, 65 percentile that came out and opposed this, Paul. So I don't know that it's a slam dunk state by state. Well, it's not slam dunk. It's slam dunk in a matter of time. Prop 8 was 2008. That actually, that actually is quite a while ago. Um, you look at the numbers since then, in 2008, Americans were the, the majority of Americans were not in favor of marriage equality. Mm -hmm. um, since of 2011, uh, maybe even 2010, but certainly 2011, the majority actually are for it. And after people like uh, President Obama have come out, we've seen tremendous strides in support in the um, African American community. So, Paul, would you would you favor having this on the as a referendum in uh, New Jersey? Then let's put it up for a vote. Well, I'm not a big fan of putting it up for a vote because I don't think it's right to um, to put the the rights of a minority uh, to a vote by the majority. Um, but you know, having said that, we've seen we we saw three victories uh, bringing right. ushering in marriage equality this month, and then a fourth saying no to a discriminatory amendment in Minnesota. All right. Well, Paul, thank you very much. We will see. And thanks uh, for joining us tonight here on Dom Time. Thanks for that commentary. Uh, the phone number is 866-472-8868. We have uh, Paul Sprague from the Family Research, Peter Sprague from the Family Research Council joining us on Dom Time. Peter, thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, no problem. Happy to be with you. Well, Peter, we've been talking with a couple of people who deal with this day by day as you do. Uh, the issue of gay marriage, last guest just said it, that it's irreversible. And the, number, the numbers do appear to show a trend toward younger people voting, and a lot of people saying, what's the big deal? Do you, do you share that, or do you see a big deal here? Well, I do think it's a big deal. I think that uh, the union of a man and a woman is the foundation of uh, family life in society. Uh, it serves a vital function of um, reproducing the human race and providing children with both a mother and a father, which uh, sociological research shows is, is important in the well-being of children. So. Uh, I, I think it's important. Uh, the definition of marriage is important. Um, I don't think that same-sex marriage is inevitable. I, I do think the advocates of same-sex marriage may get um, some additional gains. In other words, that there may be additional states in future years that legalize mm -hmm. it that don't have it right now. 
But um, I think the only way that we would see same-sex marriage uh, legal nationwide in all 50 states would be if the U.S. Supreme Court were to impose that. All right, well, let and me put a, think, a question to you personally or your group then, Peter, where you are. I favor civil unions. I think that's a sweet spot. That's where Americans are. We're not trampling on definition of marriage. We're not going there with that. Would you favor civil unions to get people that want to be engaged to have equal rights? Uh, we at Family Research Council do not support civil unions. We, we don't support any formal legal recognition of homosexual relationships. We feel that the issue of benefit, with respect to this issue of the so-called benefits of marriage, the key question we need to ask is, um, or, or the key point is, that society gives benefits to marriage because marriage gives benefits to society. And um, I, that's so the... the burden of proof has to rest on uh, the homosexual activists to demonstrate that their relationships actually benefit society okay. in the same way and to the same degree as, as marriage. Peter marriage Sprague, do, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us tonight here on Dom Time. Coming up, my final thought of the night on the fiscal cliff as we continue on Dom Time. Hey, this is the part of Dom Time where I get to take a minute or so to tell you what I'm thinking about all the stuff that's going on. And what I'm thinking about is it's great that people are paying attention to the so-called fiscal cliff. It's not inside baseball. People are wondering what Congress is going to do. The downside of it to me is you have a vast number of people that have called me. Their solution is to punish the rich. Let's just tax the guy who's made it. Let's tax success. Next week here on Dom Time, I hope to have in studio couple congressmen on opposite sides of this to get it straight what do we need to do to get out of debt what's the responsible reasonable thing to do that's next week thanks so much for joining us tonight here on dom time